Rothschild wins, but the real victory is for the racing cars of the 60s. Machines may have taken over from the horse, but the old skills are not being allowed to die. The craft of ploughing, for instance. Her Majesty the Queen attends the Southern Counties Heavy Horse Association All Britain Ploughing Championships in Windsor Great Park. As patron and president of the Shire Horse Society, the Queen takes more than usual interest in these beautiful animals. This is the centenary year of the Society. Descended from those warrior steeds of England's more chivalrous days, horses like these carried many an armoured knight into battle. Before the contest begins, Her Majesty inspects some of the entrants. More than 40 teams from all over the country are competing for 11 trophies in the ploughing section. Strong plough horses, but at this game you need strong arms as well. A straight furrow and true is easier hoped for than done. Clydesdales, Percherons, Suffolks and Shires and the useful crossbreeds which work so well. Look at the power in those massive shoulders. The beauty and strength of those wonderful animals is pure poetry. Those broad backs have borne the burden of British farming for hundreds of years. Patient, untiring and reliable, they take their turn at the plough almost instinctively. The plough horse may be now outdated, but affection for this truly noble animal will never disappear. As autumn turns to winter, the fashion world reveals its ideas for next summer.